What would Goofy look like as a regular dude? What about Donald and Daisy Duck? If you have a favorite Disney animal sidekick, chances are it's on this list. Stay tuned to the end to see a certain snow-covered pal reimagined as a cute human guy. New here? Subscribe to the Things channel to be the first to see our new videos. And hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. If you like crafts and DIYs, check out our friends at Crafty Hackers. They have this awesome video about ways you can recycle regular objects into toys. They'll show you how to turn your useless everyday items into amazing kids' toys. Make sure you check them out and be sure to leave them a like. Click in the corner to watch. Now here are 20 Disney animal characters reimagined as people. Mickey and Minnie Mouse When talking about the famous animal characters of Disney, it seems only appropriate to show the most famous Disney mouse of all. After all, he's been there since the beginning and has stood the test of time. Everyone at the Disney theme parks loves wearing those iconic ears on their heads. And just like Mickey, Minnie Mouse has a special place in our hearts too. That's why the artist who goes by the name of Sakura Joker on Tumblr reimagined our two favorite Disney characters as humans in this adorable interpretation. Our favorite part of this drawing is how their hair still looks like mouse ears. How cute is that? Simba, Pumbaa, and Timon. Have you ever watched The Lion King and wondered what the characters would look like if they were people instead of animals? Well, if you have, you're not alone. Japanese animation artist Chaiko, who also goes by the name of Chakko on DeviantArt.com, did this spectacular drawing of Simba, Pumbaa, and Timon strolling through the jungle singing Hakuna Matata. We are in love with the way the artist captured the animal qualities of each character while making them undeniably human. Pumbaa still has that warthog posture, Timon's stance is very meerkat-like, and Simba's red hair is very reminiscent of that kingly lion's mane. This is one talented artist. Zootopia A bunch of artists on the internet had the same idea. There is a ton of artwork out there depicting the animal characters from Zootopia as humans. Our favorite is this anime-style one of Nick Wilde and Judy Hopps by Mongoose369. Well, actually, it's a tie between this one and the side-by-side -side art of our two favorite Zootopia characters, created by Emelina. She really captures Nick's aloofness and Judy's zest for life. Judy even has the bunny teeth smile, and we are amazed at her ability to turn a fox into a human. Seriously, that's some next-level stuff right there. Nick and Judy never look so awesome. Lady and the Tramp So apparently, Lady and the Tramp is loosely based on Walt Disney and his wife's real-life Cocker Spaniel. How many dogs have had major motion pictures made about them? That's one special dog. Anyway, one artist wondered what Lady and the Tramp would look like if they were human instead of dogs. The results are pretty doggone terrific. The artist who goes by Pugletto on Tumblr really captures the sly, street-smart tramp and Lady's wide-eyed fascination with her new friend. You can see her inner monologue saying, he's a tramp, but I love him. Her hair looks a lot like Cocker Spaniel ears, and Tramp's scraggly hair under a hat is a perfect choice. Scar We would be remiss if we didn't include Scar from The Lion King, along with Simba, Timon, and Pumbaa. This artist from DeviantArt, Boyd Kessler, really nailed this human version of Scar. He's got long fingernails like Lion Claws, and he's actually kind of hot. Can we say that about a Disney lion villain? We are loving the hair and the goatee. Even the scar on his eye looks cool. Yeah, we know Scar nearly destroyed Pride Rock and tried to overthrow the kingdom, but yowza! That mouse doesn't look too happy, though. Just remember what Zazu said, Scar. Don't play with your food. An artist horsing around. This artist, who goes by Solena, wrote that they have often wondered what Disney animals would look like if they were human. The artist said they have enjoyed other artists' illustrations of cartoon animals depicted as humans and wanted to try it too. So here is the artist's interpretation of Samson, Pegasus, Fru Fru, and Khan if they were human. The artist just chose a few of their favorite horses and plans to do more. The artist wrote that they are still laughing about how Fru Fru is virtually the only female Disney horse. Good point, Selena. Why are all the horses male? Finding Nemo Here's an interesting question. What would the entire cast of Finding Nemo look like if they were all human? 
We found the answer, and it's all in one incredible drawing. Check it out. Artist Miss Kanan did this remarkable version of all the Finding Nemo cast as anime-style human characters, and to quote Crush the Turtle, it's awesome. It's even got the sharks. Marlin and Dory are in action right in the center, and Crush and Squirt are there too. Nemo is so cute. We love the extra details of the scuba mask and the Sydney Opera House. Miss Kanan is crushing it with this one. Get it? Crushing it? Okay, moving on. Daisy and Donald Duck. The deviant art artist, Chaco, also known as Chaiko, has done it again with this romantic drawing of Daisy and Donald Duck as humans. The two lovebirds are dressed in gorgeous old-timey clothes, and they are locked in a tight embrace. This must be one of the times they weren't fighting. These two have got some crazy tempers. We love the ducktail in the back of Daisy's hairdo. And the way Donald is looking into her eyes, looking at this picture makes us believe in the power of duck love. But does anyone else think Donald's hat looks like a big slice of cake? Okay, now we're hungry. Nala. Is it obvious that we are obsessed with the Lion King? Luckily, we're not alone. Several artists felt compelled to turn our favorite jungle characters into humans. When we found Nala, we knew we had to share it. She looks like a goddess and we cannot get over it. Simba looks pretty awesome in this one too. You may recognize this style by the artist Selena, who did the horse drawings from before. Disney should give this talented artist a call. They should use these incredible talents in their next picture. We would definitely buy tickets to that movie. What do you guys think of this version of Nala? Flounder. You guys remember Ariel's sidekick, Flounder, from The Little Mermaid, right? He's the cute, lovable blue and yellow fish that helps Ariel in her under-the-sea adventures. But what would he look like if he was a boy instead of a fish? One artist called Da Ninja 293 drew a pretty cute version of Flounder as a boy. The artist said it was fun and that they hadn't drawn a boy in a long time. We think we can speak for almost everyone when we say we are so glad they did. Look at those blushing cheeks and blue eyes. The hair looks like a fin on top. Nice touch. Mike and Sully. Do monsters count as animals? They are definitely not human, which is what makes this fan art so cool. Artist Nanamis over at DeviantArt created this super cool version of Mike and Sully as college kids at Monsters University, though they probably wouldn't be welcome to Monsters University in this form. We love it, and we've got another favorite of Mike and Sully that we had to share. Artist Wagashima did this side-by-side -side version of Mike and Sully, and it is delightful. It's cool how similar the two pieces are, but how human the characters are on the left. Well, minus the horns on Sully. Human Stitch. We all know Stitch as the lovable troublemaker in Lilo and Stitch. While he is already a pretty adorable creature, some artists wondered what he would look like if he took on a human form. The artist known as X Lilu Chan X created this human Stitch as a blue-haired, flip-flop wearing surfer dude, and we are loving it. Another artist who goes by Hyung86 made this version of a human Stitch as a city kid with fire shoes and a hoodie with ears, just like the alien creature we all love. Which one is your favorite human Stitch? Do you prefer the surfer dude or the streetwise city kid? Bambi, Thumper, and Flower. Disney's Bambi is a beautiful story about a young deer and his forest creature friends. It's got heartbreak, triumph, and an awesome deer ice skating scene. But let's check out what these furry little creatures would look like as humans. An artist who goes by Berber Art on DeviantArt.com did this adorable piece showing Bambi as a sweet but slightly awkward guy with white freckles. Those freckles remind us of the spots Bambi has on his coat. Then there's the lovable rabbit Thumper. The artist cleverly gave Thumper a drum to thump on. And finally, Flower, the sweet, friendly skunk in the animated film. We love everything about this one. Tigger and Roo. Winnie the Pooh is an animated classic that has stood the test of time. All the adorable animals in the 100 Acre Wood are technically stuffed animals come to life, but we think they still qualify for this list. Get ready for your heart to melt when you see what artist Fish at DeviantArt drew. If this isn't the sweetest picture of Tigger and Roo as humans, we don't know what is. But another artist who goes by Marcel Salik 26 took it even further and drew the whole gang in this picture. We gotta say, that seems pretty spot on. The human version of Winnie the Pooh is perfect. 
bolt. So Lena has done it again. This time, they have humanized the cuddly canine Bolt. In the film, Bolt is a dog that stars on a TV show as a super dog with special powers. But Bolt actually believes he has powers. So when he steps off the studio lot, he is in for quite an awakening, as well as a great adventure. So Lena not only humanized Bolt, they also gave Mittens a human transformation as well. One fan commented that this version of Bolt looks a lot like Cameron Boyce from the Descendants movies. Yep, we can totally see the resemblance. Well done. Jiminy Cricket Remember the little cricket in Pinocchio? He acted as the puppet's conscience and tried to keep him out of trouble. He tried to keep him from skipping school and running off with the bad guys to the land where kids were turned into donkeys. Geez, what a messed up story for kids. Anywho, everyone fell in love with Jiminy Cricket. And who wouldn't love a well-dressed cricket? Tumblr user SquigglyDig thought it would be fun to see what our little conscious cricket would look like as a human. This dabber dude is doing a good job of filling those human shoes, don't you think? Goofy and Max We're not sure if Goofy is a dog or some other kind of animal. And don't get us started on the debate of why Goofy can walk around and talk like a person, but Pluto is a dog who walks on all fours and can only bark. That is just too confusing. But Japanese illustrator Chaiko decided to really humanize Goofy and his son Max in these gorgeous drawings. Suddenly, we forgive Disney for the whole weird dog thing. Chaiko totally captures Goofy's well, goofiness. And we love the thought bubble next to Max showing that he wished he was wearing a hat without antlers. Huey, Dewey, and Louie Chico humanized another set of animal characters from the Disney Vault. Say hello to the human version of Huey, Dewey, and Louie. You might remember them as Donald Duck's nephews who love to cause trouble and make big messes. But Chico has made them a bit more well-dressed and sophisticated. He depicted them again in this drawing with Scrooge McDuck, who is also humanized. These kids look more like the little ducks we're used to seeing. There's so much cuteness in this picture, we can't take it. The kids don't look like the ornery little rascals from the cartoons. They actually seem pretty sweet. The Muppets Now that Disney owns the Muppets, we feel they should definitely be included in this list. Who wouldn't want to see what Kermit the Frog, Miss Piggy, Fozzie Bear, and the rest of the gang would look like as people? We know we do. Artist Nick Hoffman made this incredible piece featuring all of our favorite Muppet characters as humans. The characters have a realistic quality to them. It almost takes away from the lovable fuzziness we've all come to depend on. But we're really digging what he did with Animal. Miss Piggy would be way more glamorous if she were a human, don't you think? Olaf! He's last on our list, and he's not really an animal. But he is a fun-loving sidekick to Anna and Elsa, which is usually the role the animals play, so we couldn't help it. We found some adorable art by artist Lanykins over at DeviantArt. She really captured his hopeful eyes and sparkling personality, right? And he's got a cold button on his white shirt. She definitely deserves some warm hugs for that one. So, which reimagined character was your favorite? Are you as obsessed with the Lion King characters as we were? Or was Olaf more your thing? Let us know in the comments. And those are the 20 Disney animals reimagined as people. Thanks for watching The Things. See you next time.